Robbo, firstly, congratulations on winning the Player of the Season award. You must be buzzing to have picked up top spot. Yeah, it was very nice to beat Elliot for once. We've been, we've been here six years, I think he's won it probably four of them. Um, but now it was really nice to be recognised by the fans. I think um, I had a very good season, personally. I think a lot of players had very good personal seasons. Um, Maka, Junior, obviously he came second. El Elliot Justin again, there, were, there was a lot of performers, uh, very consistent performers on, on the pitch this year and it's just very nice to receive that accolade. You also picked up the Supporters Club Award as well, must be must feel really nice to sort of feel their appreciation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I didn't know there was such a thing because we hadn't done it for maybe a, a year or two. Um, and yeah, um, when, when we went in there after, after the last game of the season and um, to, to pick it up was obviously another surprise, um, but a really, a really nice one. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Looking back a bit on the season then, you finished with nine goals um, in the league, beating your tally from the 2021 campaign. I know that was a big game for you, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, the, the aim was more so to, for it not to be like a one-hit wonder kind of season, like, um, like re-emerging into the team last year in a slightly different position and uh, doing so well in front of goal. Um, the, the emphasis then becomes, can you do it again? Um, and obviously the, the goals first two games of the season has kind of put that to rest a bit and there was stages where I hadn't scored for a few games and I was thinking oh like well, for five's all right or whatever but really and truly I'd set myself the marker at 10 fell short by a one but nonetheless it was progress on the season before and um, I managed to contribute a few more cause, um, assists as well which is obviously a very important role for someone who plays in my position in midfield so Overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with it, yeah. Looking at that and obviously several other factors as well, would you say it is the, if not one of the best seasons of your career? Oh, it's the best. But on a personal note, it is the best. So, yeah, the best. Obviously then, looking on less of a personal note, um, yeah. we finished just the one point off seventh place, seventh place in the end. How do you look at that? Can it be used as sort of motivation to keep building and sort of better our performance going into next season? Of course, I think... Um, since since the gaff has come, we've improved in terms of league position uh, last year and this year. Um, and this year, obviously, the aim was to be in the playoffs or to win the league. And for a long period of time, it looked like we were at the start of the season. Then for a short period, it looked like we weren't. Um, and I think that says a lot about the resilience of, of our team to take it to the last day. Um, it's definitely a promising sign. And I think, obviously, all the signs are there that we'll, we'll improve again next year and, and, and make it into the playoffs or... Arguably, arguably win the, win the league itself. Looking at that, then slightly more. How clear is it to see, sort of, from your point of view, just how much progress there's been sort of behind the scenes over the past couple of seasons since, like you say, the gaffer's coming? Evidence is there. I mean, even if you look at me personally, like beforehand, I'd, I'd scored one goal, um, and I think one thing that he definitely does is allows players to be expressionate, like when they play. Um, if you look at our style of play, obviously it is expansive, and there are a few faults in it sometimes defensively that, that we've corrected um, more recently um, but if you look at how we play it's, it's never not exciting and I think just a little bit of fine tuning um, defensively as a team I'm not, I'm not saying the defenders I'm saying defensively uh, set pieces everything everyone's involved in that like um, we'll definitely see like a, a winning a winning recipe Bit of time off for you now then, giving the legs a bit of a rest. What yeah, are the next man. sort of few weeks look like for you? I, I know discussions with the manager happen over this period, but what are your plans for the... It happened just of... now, I used it. I know, but over the next few <laughs> weeks, bit of rest and recovery, what, what yeah. does that look like for you? Um, spending time with my daughter. I'm going to spend some time back in Leicester um, with, with my friends and, and my family. Um, I think every player looks forward to their time off because of how strenuous and how rigorous the training is during the season um, and yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna enjoy myself obviously I'm gonna stay on top of things in terms of my fitness and that but um, more than anything enjoy myself enjoy my life um, and get ready for next year yeah brilliant and just finally season tickets are selling well for the upcoming season how much are you looking forward to seeing as many daggers as possible come the opening day I'm very much looking forward to it I think this year the fans have been have been excellent home and away um, I think the atmosphere we saw in the last game of the season from, from their fans and from our fans shows how dedicated the fans are in this league and, and to their clubs um, and hopefully we can have more, more of the same next year in terms of the, the numbers at the stadium cheering us on hopefully to victory.